Okay, today, something a little different. The Lord woke me up with a wonderful thought this morning. Seeing how the Pope and many of his followers, as well as all the 501c3 preachers out there, have the ability now to make void the law of God, and this is something that they're going to do real soon, it looks like the opportune time to push ahead with the truth on all this. We all need to be better prepared for that long prophesied day as a well-informed body of believers who have all the scriptural and biblical information we need to fight for the truth as it is found in scripture regarding God's law. Yes, of course, I am speaking of the up-and-coming Sunday laws that Christian prophecy states Rome is about to demand and all the fallen Protestant churches that created their image to the beast so as to better help the man of sin so that he can better assure every lukewarm soul that's in those fallen churches are going to join in worship with the Pope, who, by the way, is going to be used by Satan to make void the law of our God worldwide. And yes, for those of you that are hearing this prophetic truth for the very first time, Sunday laws are in fact the mark of the beast. You would do well to check out my Mark of the Beast page that has in-depth scriptural warnings as well as historical quotes wherein the popes of Rome actually admit in writing more than once that Sunday is their mark of authority over you. And for those that prefer to watch videos on this, there are many of them linked out on that page as well. So, since all 501c3 preachers are as prophecy declared to be more interested in money than they are in obeying the God of the Bible, hence the reason they went for the government contract with the second beast of Revelation that makes them a lot of money in the first place, I present to all Sunday-keeping pastors a challenge that will most assuredly appeal to you. I will give you $5,000 cash if you can show in the King James Bible wherein the Creator God who sanctified the seventh-day Sabbath in Eden 6,000 years ago, which was obviously long before a Jew was ever born, thereby confirming it is not just a Jewish Sabbath, as many claim. Show me in the Bible where our God changed his eternal seventh-day Sabbath to Sunday, the first day of the week. And I say eternal seventh-day Sabbath because it has been kept in heaven each week before mankind was ever even created, and it was kept by the angels themselves. See Psalm 103, verse 20, for confirmation on that biblical fact. I also present a challenge to the obedient bride of Christ to go forth and do the same as I'm doing here. Now, you don't have to offer the people any money, as it is mostly their pastors that were moved by the money, as prophecy predicted. Just ask as many as you can to show you the Bible verses. They believe, show God changed the Sabbath. That way, when they try to do so, you can present a quick Bible study or just hand them a track that shows in the truth in all this. It will not only allow many souls a chance to repent and be one with Christ when they see the God of the Bible never changed his Sabbath day, it will also help you fine-tune and even ripen your evangelistic fruit to better show everyone the Lord sends your way when they finally do pass those Sunday laws. I mean, after all, is it not written that we must be ready always to give an answer to every man that asketh you a reason of the hope that is in you with meekness and fear? Thank you for watching. God bless.